Hey, Merry Christmas. Hi, it's the Trigger, Rich Bontrager, and we're all Christmas shopping. We're all in that last little rush trying to figure out what's the best gift to get the people we love. Well, today I'm going to give you my top five leadership books that you need to be put under the Christmas tree for that favorite leader in your life, or if you're a leader, make sure you put it onto your leadership list. So stick around. Merry Christmas. Yep, it's the Trigger, Rich Bond Trigger, and we are going to give you the top five leadership books that I would recommend. I've got 25 years being a leader, being a pastor, broadcaster, motivational speaker, and all that time, I've always been a strong reader. I love to read and consume books. I want to expand my knowledge and improve myself, and one of the best ways is to do that with books. So today, I'm going to give you my top five list of leadership books that you need to get for yourself, put on your shopping list, pass it on to your family members, or maybe here's what you need to get for the leader that you know in your life. At the end of all this, stick around for the very end because I've got a mini booklet that I'm going to give you for free, and it's going to be the top 10 recommended leadership books. Now, they cover a wide breadth of information and different aspects of leadership. So, let's get right into it today. And as we do, let me ask this question of you. What leadership book would you recommend? What great books have helped you to expand yourself as a leader? Put that down in the comment field down below and help share it and start a conversation with the rest of the people that jump in. Now, give me a like, give me a subscribe, maybe share this with other people that you know that might need a good book recommendation as well. And always hit that little bell, subscribe to the video channel, and you'll never miss another Leaders and Communicators. Because my goal is to help you defy the odds, both as a leader and as a communicator. So here it is, number five on the top five list. It's Lead Like Jesus. Now, wait a minute. I understand not everyone watching my channel happens to be a Christian, but that's okay. Because the leadership principles found in the Bible with Jesus are transferable into many different settings and organizations. I happen to be a Christian, so I believe that there are many ways to learn from Jesus. Not just biblical truth, but leadership truth. Ken Blanchard, well-known leadership guru, has authored this book. And it goes back a little bit, but it is a true classic to put on your shelf. Lead Like Jesus. The subtitle, Lessons from the Greatest Leadership Role Model of All Time. Improve your leadership. You can go check that one out. Now, number four on my list, as we go backwards from five to one, is by Andy Stanley. If you're a visionary leader like I am, you have to learn how to cast vision and tell the story and get buy-in from people and have them jump on board with you. Visionary is a wonderful book by Andy Stanley. Andy has taken the story of Nehemiah from the Old Testament Bible, and he looks at how Nehemiah was a visionary leader. He had a passion for the people. He had a passion to rebuild the wall of Jerusalem that was all destroyed. And Andy Stanley breaks down what it means to be a visionary leader, to have that big dream, boil it down to your leadership team, and then fan it out to the rest of the people. It's a beautiful book of leadership. And I really encourage you, take time, pick up Visionary. Now, number three on my leadership list for Christmas is Boundaries for Leaders. Now, this is a long series of books by Dr. Henry Cloud. And he started off with a book called Boundaries. Boundaries of life. They're always healthy things. But as leaders, we all learn that we have boundaries to set. If you break these boundaries of leadership, you can end up in big trouble. Legal trouble, marital trouble, relationship trouble, team trouble. There's a lot of things learned about leadership boundaries. So, number three on my Christmas shopping list is Boundaries for Leaders by Dr. Henry Cloud. Now, second, as we work our way to the big number one, this is Strength Finders. Strength Finders is an absolute must. For anyone that is a leader, we often spend so much time putting effort into our weaker areas. Now, we should try to pull up those weak areas, but often we spend too much time on our weakness and not fanning the flame and using our strengths to their full potential. Strength Finders is an online test with a book that supplements and explains what these different strengths are. Now, for example, my top five, and they're right on the cover of the book, 
because they give you a nice little way to do that. My top five, strategic, belief, I'm a futuristic dreamer. Woo is number two on that list. I love the idea of woo. Woo. And number one is self-assurance on that one. So please, take the time and look at this book. Look at the online assessment. It would be a perfect gift for the leader in your life, Strength Finders. It will help you really go to the next level. And now number one on the top five list of leadership books for the Christmas season is by John Maxwell. John Maxwell has been a leadership guru, professional speaker, author for a very long time. And I had to pick out just one of John Maxwell's books. He has so many, and often they're very thin like this. They're not hard reads. They're just full of great nuggets and wisdom and application points. This one is the 21 Indispensable Qualities of a Leader. 21. It's not 100. It's just 21 Indispensable Qualities of a of a leader. Check out John Maxwell and get this book for the leader in your life. Now those are the top five that I have for you, but I have five more. So down below in the description bar, make sure you get the little booklet, my top 10 leadership Christmas books. They're perfect to go shopping for and I'm going to make it so easy this year, I'm going to add the actual link right to the location of the book. Click on that link and it will take you right to where it is you're shopping. Boom, you have it and you're done with it. My goal is to make your life easy this Christmas. So again, give me a like, give me a subscribe, give me a question, and maybe recommend another book that maybe should have been on that top 10 list. What would you recommend for the leader in your life? As we wrap up 2018, I just want to say thank you for watching my channel. Thank you for helping me grow and reaching out to more people. And as always, God bless, Merry Christmas, and have a safe and happy new year.